What's going on? It's that time of year again. The SMC GR is upon us. If you're new here, I'm Jay Ball. I run things here at SMC Fixed Gear. The SMC GR is the SMC Global Rankings for Fixed Gear Trick Riders. We've done this for the last two years now, so we're back at it again. And today we're gonna to be going over the men's FGFS division. So how it works is we go through the entire year. We look at how often people are posting. We look at style. We look at cleanliness. We look at difficulty of tricks and all of that good stuff factors into the list. So if somebody that you think deserves to get on this isn't on here, or maybe you think you deserve to get on here, first of all, there's always next year. Then second of all, leave a comment, let us know. To start things off, you guys voted a couple weeks ago for the people's champ for the year. And this year, the FGFS people's champ is Pablo Barros out of Chile. Pablo absolutely crushed the competition. The people love Pablo, we know this now. And congrats, you're the people's champ for the year. Now let's get into the five riders that are on the cusp. These are the five riders that are knocking at the front door of the top 10. First up on the cusp, in no particular order, is San Jose's Jimmy Watcha. Watcha is a veteran to the fixed gear community at this point. He's known for his grind tricks, his peg usage. He's creative, he's very jibby, techy. Uh, we love to see it. He's like the Brandon Began of fixed gear. Uh, he placed sixth at our Suck My Comp that we held in November. Number two on the cusp is going to be the Netherlands' own Richie Van Pelt, aka the owner of Fixated. Richie and some of the Fixated guys actually traveled out to Long Beach, where I'm located, uh, for our competition last year. He ended up getting second place in the AM division. He puts out videos constantly. He puts out YouTube edits, not just Instagram edits. He's been progressing at a very fast rate. I'm really excited to see how he keeps going this year. Third on the cusp is going to be Snow O'Connell, AKA Oak Ghost on Instagram. Snow keeps it mysterious. He keeps it black and white, pegless, fast pace. Love to watch him ride, one of my personal favorites. He's always charging fast to stuff and you're never really sure where he's gonna go with it. And he's one of the most exciting riders to watch in my opinion. When he drops that edit that he's been talking about for a really long time, it's gonna blow your mind. Fourth on the cusp is going to be Minky Kang out of Korea. I mentioned him in my video last year. In the grand scheme of things, a newer rider compared to a lot of the other uh, riders on this list. So it's really cool to see how fast he's progressed in such a short amount of time. He just keeps it squeaky clean, bar spins dialed, Grinds dialed, um, everything's looking really good, clean style. So I hope he keeps at it this year. Last on the list is going to be NorCal's own Cameron Bound. Cam has unfortunately been out a little bit from an injury, but he put out an edit this year. He placed third in M at the Suck My Comp that we held. He likes to go fast, he likes to send it. His edit consisted of some really good stuff. Unfortunately, he was out for some of this year from injury, but I think he still did enough this year to make it on the cusp. So heal up Cam and I hope to see you killing it this year. We have entered the top 10. We're gonna start at the bottom, obviously, with Seong Min out of Korea, number 10. To my knowledge, because I don't know that much about him, he seemingly has picked up a fixed gear freestyle bike at the beginning of the year, and then the first clip he ever posted was a tail whip, which if you know fixed gear bikes, that's really hard. There's like a handful of people that have done tail whips on a fixed gear. This dude picks one up, does it instantly almost. Um, he clearly has a BMX background, but he's been consistently riding a fixed gear freestyle bike throughout the year. Uh, he's doing turn downs, clean 360s, bar spins dialed. Skill wise, he deserves higher. I can't do half of the stuff he does. M most of the people on the list can't do half the stuff he does. He has to climb his way up the ranks a little bit. He's fresh meat, so we'll just put him at number 10 for now, but hopefully he sticks with it. Number nine is the opposite of Seong Min. Where Seong Min is fresh blood, this person is a seasoned veteran, and that's gonna be Antonio Wothy. I try to be as unbiased as possible. If this was a bias list, he would be in the top three, in my opinion, because he's one of my personal favorites to watch. But Antonio is back and killing it. He looks super comfortable on his bike, killing it with his signature CZ style, putting his pegs on all the subs he can find in the world. And much like everyone else on this list, uh, I really look forward to seeing how he does in 2023. Number eight, we're gonna fly overseas for this one. This is another fixated member. That's gonna be Yuri Slicker. Fifth place in the pro division at the Suck My Comp 5. He put out an edit on YouTube. You know I love edits on YouTube. Getting posted by Fixated on the gram all the time, posting himself on the gram. Really creative, steezy lines. Rides transition beautifully, gets huge air. Yuri's been killing it this year. He had a really, really good year. So let's keep it going in 2023. Number seven is another personal favorite. 
and the only big wheel member on this list, and that's gonna be Corey St. Augustine. Corey's kept it consistent throughout the year, riding a ton on a bigger bike than everybody else on this list, really taking advantage of his peglessness. He's doing all kinds of bottom bracket grinds, doing all kinds of pegless axle goodness. In my opinion, his strongest suit is his trick choice. I love his spot choices and I love his trick choices at said spots. This is the year his edit should come out, so hopefully, we see that soon. Number six, it would be criminal if he wasn't on this list, and that's gonna be uh, SMC's own Miguel Zendejas. Miguel got first at our Suck My Comp. Uh, he didn't ride that much, so it's really impressive that he got first, but he's just that good. Should be top three, but he didn't ride that much. Right now, he doesn't have a BMX and only has his fixed gear freestyle, and we have actually been filming a little bit. So hopefully we can put out an edit uh, of Miguel sometime this year. Number five, we're all very familiar with. It's gonna be the very creative Matt Dazon, AKA Matt Bastard. First of all, Matt had a child recently, so congrats on that. And he's still getting out there and riding with the Sunday service crew. Matt's always finding ways to expand his galaxy brain fixed gear mind and doing things that um, I couldn't conceptualize in a hundred years. He's riding in 30, 34, and I'm here for it. Number four is a style god and a staple in the fixed gear freestyle community. That's gonna be Chase Davis with Fold Gang. Chase had an incredible year. He's posting consistently. He put out a really, really fire edit for Rough Bike Co. with Fold Gang. He got fourth place at the Suck My Comp 5. He's just one of the most consistent riders for sure. He just has so much steez when he does anything. We're getting into dangerous waters here. Uh, there's a few names I haven't mentioned yet and we could probably order these in any three way possible. But our pick for number three is gonna be our own Marco Marquez. Marco got second at the Suck My Comp 5, doing crazy big tricks all the time. He has no fear, sends it always. There's some people on this list that are a little more active than him maybe, but the difficulty of Marco's tricks is pretty much unmatched. Uh, nobody is sending it like Marco does. So number three deserved in our opinion. For number two, we've watched this dude improve from the ground up and that's our very own Chase Henley. Chase is easily one of the most talented people to be on an FGFS bike right now. Uh, not just right now, in all of fixed gear history. He's doing things that pro BMXers struggle with. No fear, he puts his tires on everything. So precise, just really precise dialed riding, always. He got third at the Suck My Comp 5. We put out an edit of him at the beginning of the year, and that was just a leftover edit, but people still really liked it. It feels like every week he puts out an NBD, a crazy new trick that no one's ever done. So shout out to Chase, he's gonna keep killing it, I know it. And then number one, the fixie king for the year is going to be Matt Spencer, AKA Wolf Drum. Not only is Matt consistently putting out tricks on Instagram, and not just tricks, he's putting out mini edits on Instagram all the time. Uh, he just released his Lost edit, which is one of the best fixed gear edits in history, in my opinion. Bigger gaps than anybody else, dial, creative spot usage, finds crazy spots. He's always putting out really cool pictures that he takes. He's putting out products with Rough Bite Co. He's just all encompassing fixie man. He's been in this for longer than almost anybody else on the list. And hopefully he continues to be a staple of the community for years and years to come. So that's it, that's the top 10 for men's FGFS SMCGR 2023. So tune back in tomorrow. We're gonna go over our picks for the top 10 WTF category. Until tomorrow, J-Ball out.